The Bull and the Beautiful Show 5260 VTR 131 2008. Long before your home now. Home where you belong. With your old man taking care of you. That you can count on. What are you thinking, Nick? Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to our child? I can't believe it. Please don't. Please, Nick, please don't go through with this today. I don't want to do this, but I do want what's best for our son. Fighting for custody is not what is best for our son. Please, I love him. I would never put him in danger, Nick. Please, you know that I'm a good mother. You're an amazing mother. When? You're stable. I just think you need some more time to get on your feet. You're wrong. Mentally and emotionally, I'm, I'm fine. I'm just fine. Taylor, the way you behaved here yesterday... If you think for one second I would ever do anything to harm our baby, you've got to be kidding me. Why are you thinking this about me? I would never do anything like that, Nick. I mean, I know what's really going on. I know this is all Brooke. I know that is the reason you want to take custody. I know that. That's why you're doing this. That's why you're motivated to do this, isn't it? Am I right? Just answer me, Nick. I'm sorry. I'll see you in court. of a bitch. Who the hell does Nick think he is treating Taylor that way? First he fails as a husband, now he prevents Taylor from raising Jack. You don't have all the facts, Ridge. Taylor is struggling, and Nick is concerned about his son. Of course she's struggling, because you're the biological mother of Jack. And that was difficult for all of us to accept. But Taylor's problems go way beyond that. In what way? She admitted to Nick that she'd been drinking again. And whether it be one drink or hundred drinks, the fact still remains, Taylor is an alcoholic. She shouldn't be alone with that boy. I mean, think about it. What if she were alone with Archie and suddenly she snapped? We're talking about a little baby boy's well-being here. He needs to know that his parents love him and protect him. And Taylor is certainly not capable of that. She has no business being anywhere near or definitely not being alone with that little boy. I know the kind of mother Taylor is probably better than anyone. And you know what, Logan? I can't believe how wrapped up in all this you are. And honestly, it shocks me that you're still supporting Nick the way you are. For you to be acting this way, for you to know the intimate details of Nick and Taylor's life as much as you do, I'd say you're still seeing him. So tell me, Logan, how involved are you with Nick Maroney? Who was that on the phone? It was Taylor. She is very upset. This is such a difficult and 
very, very sad situation, but the only way to make sure that that little boy of yours is safe and protected is for the judge to grant you custody. Nikki, you don't have a choice. So sorry, Mom. I'm just so glad you're here. I really, I need your support and your love right now. Well, you have that. God, I just don't understand how Nick could do this. I don't know either. Just why I'm pretty certain that Brooke's behind it. I'll get it. Hi. Rick. How are you doing? Fine. I, I, I don't know if now's a good time to visit. My mom's going through a lot right now. No, I know about the hearing. That's actually why I'm here. I'm here to see your mom. Really? Uh, well, that, that, that's sweet of you. She could use all the support she can get right now. Come in. Thanks. Mom, look who stopped by. Hi, Rick. Hi. How are you holding up? Are you okay? I called Nick and I was hoping to get him to back off, but he's still insisting on taking me to court. Taylor, I'm so sorry. I know your mother's behind this. Can you make her stop? Please, can you just call her or something and, and get her to back off? Logan, don't confuse what I'm feeling for my being insecure. I'm not. I love you. I always will. You know that. And I will always love you, too. You have an attachment to Jack. That also means an attachment to Nick. I love you, Logan. I have every intention of spending my life with you. But you're not ready. You're still wrapped up in Nick's life too much. There isn't a doubt in my mind you and I are going to have our happily ever after. But if you continue to consume yourself in Nick and Taylor's life, you're just going to delay that life that you and I have worked so hard to have. It's all right there, Logan. The future that I know in my heart we were always meant to share. when that will be it's up to you All right, Taylor, look, the most important thing is that you remain calm, all right? That's the only way the judge is going to listen to you. I need you to focus on Jack and keeping him with you. I know that you and my mom have a very tumultuous past, okay? But if you dwell on that, you're going to lose sight of what's really at stake, okay? What does Brooke have to do with Jack's custody hearing? I just want to make sure that Brooke is not anywhere around there today. I do not want to see her. She is the last person I need there. Okay, okay, I'll tell you what. I'm going to call her and tell her to stay away from the courthouse, all right? Taylor has already admitted that she's drinking again. She is extremely on edge. I'm just so afraid 
that if Jack is with her, unsupervised, something awful might happen. You're, you're not being unreasonable, you see. You're just putting your little boy's safety first. Come in, come in. Please, tell me we're ready. Yes, everything is uh, in motion for the hearing, but I just need to make sure that you're not having second thoughts about this. I just hate the thought of doing this to Taylor. Do you know there's no other choice? Brooke is right. And thank you for coming. I know what it means to Nick to have your support. Of course, you do have your own reasons for wanting to be at the hearing. Oh, no. No, don't worry. Stormy knows that I'm Jack's biological mother. Well, then, of course, you want to be in the courtroom. It is your child we're talking about, too. Well, I am concerned about Jack. But part of me wonders if I should even be there at all, given the history that I have with Taylor. I don't want to fuel the fire. <clears throat> Excuse me, let me get that. My name is Sarah, Sarah. Come on, come on. Hello? Mom, it's me. I'm gonna make this really quick. Please do not come to the courthouse today. Taylor blames this entire situation on you and your presence is just gonna be bad for everybody. Honey, I care about what happens to little Jack. Well, just let Nick handle it. Just promise me you won't be there, okay? <sighs> okay. I will come. Thank you. Taylor? My mom's not gonna be there today. Thank you. I don't know what I would have done if I had to see her today. That was Rick. He asked me not to come down to the hearing today. Apparently, Taylor's blaming me for all of this. What did you say? I told him I'd stay away. I think that's what's best. Look, uh, <clears throat> Brooke, I can understand why you might not want to be there, but I need you to reconsider if you really want Nick to get custody. As your attorney, let me warn you, child custody hearings can get ugly. I can see that you're upset, and that's completely understandable, but Taylor, you have to get a hold of yourself. It's crucial that you make the best possible impression on the judge. That's the only way he'll grant you custody. Yeah, I understand. Well, thanks to you, Brooke won't be there. I know I can stay focused and I can be in control. As long as she isn't there, I'll be just great. Why do I have to be there at the courtroom? Look, I promise not to call you unless I need to, but I may need your testimony. I know what Taylor's going through. I'd really rather not be there. I'm not going to pressure on this. It's your decision. Brooke, please, think who this hearing is about. Your biological son. I know. You're right. I, I should be there. I need to be there. You only call me to the stand if absolutely necessary. I promise. And I'd rather that Taylor not see that I was there. Is that possible? Yeah. Yeah, I can find your room down the hall and call for you if I need you, okay? Okay. You ready, Nick? I'm ready. Let's do this. Mommy loves you so much. I have to go somewhere for a little bit, but I'll be right back. Okay, and when I come back, we'll put on your little tennis shoes and we'll go in the stroller and we'll take a walk out in the park. Okay? Would that be good? Yeah. Yes. 
Mommy's gonna keep you safe and warm. And always take good care of you. I promise. Okay? I love you so much. Taylor, I'm sorry, but um, we need to go if, if we don't want to be late, okay? Mommy loves you so much. I'll be right back, okay? <laughs> you be a good boy for Anya while I'm gone, okay? Thanks for being here. I won't push you to testify, I promise. But if I'm needed, I will. I will do anything to protect Jack. Thank you. Why are you stormy anyway? You're supposed to find that room for me to wait in. Right. I mean, the whole idea was to avoid Taylor, right? Uh, we're here a little early. Why don't you just wait and I'll go try to find him. Be back in a minute. Okay. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate what you're doing for me. It's really no problem. I'm gonna go see if I can find Phoebe and your attorney. No, wait, before you do, I I just want to tell you thank you. You've been such an amazing friend of me, and I I don't know how I would have gone through this time. But... This is the most difficult time I've ever had in my life, and I, I just appreciate you so much. It's my pleasure. Look, Taylor, you're going to be just fine in there, okay? You are a tremendous mother. You should be proud. Well, you're a godsend. I'll see you. are you doing here, Brooke? You promised Rick that you wouldn't come. I know, I know. And then Storm said that it would be better... What is Storm doing here? He's representing Nick. You're going to testify against me, aren't you? Look, I know what you're going through, Taylor. I was in your same position last year, remember? And it was the most horrific ordeal that I ever had to endure. Oh, and well, wouldn't that make you happy right now? See Nick walk off with custody of the baby so that you three can waltz off and be one big happy family? No, no, it was never my intention to hurt you or Nick's. We just want to make sure we do what's best for this child. Oh, what? Didn't you really want to say my child? Isn't that what you really wanted to say? Because today is the culmination of your whole plan. No! No, you have poisoned everything in my life. You poisoned Ridge against me, you poisoned Nick, and now you want to take my son away from me. Calm down, because no. if anybody hears you, this is not going to help your case. Oh, why do you care? Why do you care? You have ruined everything in my life. I'll never have a normal life now, and I'll be damned if you take my son away from me. I swear you will not do it. Jack belongs to me. Have you uh, got that? I told you not to come here. Taylor, 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 the court. I want order in this court immediately. Uh, your Honor, my client apologizes for her unexpected outburst, and we want to assure you it won't happen again. Counsel, I don't want to hear any excuses. This is a courtroom, not a boxing ring. Now, if you'll please be seated, we can begin.
Mother, can I talk to you for a minute, please? What the hell are you doing here? Storm wanted me here. He said he'd call me to the stand only if absolutely necessary. I never wanted Taylor to see me. Oh, no, it's too late for that now. Just... The Circuit Court of Los Angeles County, case number 041749, Moroni versus Moroni. The Honorable Judge Hillard Friedman presiding. Court is now in session. We're here because of an emergency hearing regarding the safety of Jack Hamilton there Maroney. There is no emergency, Your Honor. I am the legal mother of this child, and I have every intention of being a very good mother to Dr. my son, Maroney. and I will not take him away from me. Dr. Do you hear Maroney. me, Nick? Order. Do you hear me, Brooke? Please you restrain will not your take client. Him away from my body. I can't. Order. 